poverty is known to have forced entrepreneurs to make a way for themselves. Seated here are young entrepreneurs who had one experience or the other to share. Though theirs might be a success story, there are concerns on the inability of teeming Nigerian youth populace to find their way out of the woods. This hardly maximized young crowd is having a daunting task finding their voice and a competitive position in a quickly evolving landscape. The main challenge is that what they are saying and how they are saying it does not resonate with the market and young Nigerians are fast losing their significant position in the scheme of things. To copy this menace, a student summit tagged the EDGE series is put in place. People who are winning are given a year's worth of instruction, lessons and strategies on how they can build their businesses. And what that creates is opportunity to employ more people. And so as more individuals become business owners, we would have more people who continue to become educated. Employ employability increases and it benefits the economy as a whole. The Lagos State Government, through the Ministry of Youth and Social Development, says it will enter into partnership with relevant agencies to take youths off the streets. If, if you see, most of our youth now, their brain have been so raped to the extent that if you give them 500 now, 200 now, they can do anything. We can engage our youth from being idle in the environment for them to be useful to themselves and to the entire state. With initiatives like this in the pipeline, it once again raises the question of youth restiveness and ways out of it in Nigeria. Rashid Rashid, PTV News, Lagos.